Hey there, it's Ilze B here. If you've been following me for a while, then you probably know me as a Latvian language teacher, but probably you've also heard that I am developing as a public speaker. And today I just came home from a place where I gave my speech. I introduced myself and the topics that I talk about. And I would like to demonstrate a fragment of that speech. I have worked as a translator, interpreter, teacher, trainer, and business executive. In order to be a good interpreter, though, I had to work on my memory. And one of memory enhancement techniques is memorization through associations, which is what I'm going to demonstrate today. And for demonstration purposes, I am going to use my name. I will help you to memorize its spelling, because I know it can be challenging, can't it? <laughs> are you excited to try this? Yes. yes. And are you ready for some weird stuff? <laughs> you know why? Because that helps to memorize. Okay, let's do it. Imagine that I am a zebra, because I can be very controversial like black and white zebra stripes. But more, imagine that I am a zebra who is wearing a bra. <laughs> it's weird, right, you think? <laughs> this zebra must be ill. <laughs> we need to check. But how to do it? We need to take her temperature. But how to do it without a thermometer? This is what I suggest. Take one of the L letters and use it as a thermometer to take my temperature. And remove that bra. Zebras don't wear bras. There, you're left with my name, Ilze, or ra rather Ilze, which is just a name. It has no meaning. Yet my surname, Berzina, or rather Berzina, does have a meaning. It means a young birch tree. Birch trees are white with black stripes, like zebras but I'm not going to challenge you to remember my surname because it's the surname of my second husband and I am married to my third husband now. <laughs> Until recently, it has been a skeleton in my cupboard. <laughs> With this fact, I feel like a black sheep among the white ones in the herd. My parents have been blessed with a wonderful marriage, and my sister has been married only once, too. Anyhow, now you understand why I don't care if you remember the spelling of my second husband's surname. Call me simply Ilze B, because that's the name that I have adopted. I call myself Ilze B, thus telling myself Ilze be who you are. And that's what I'm going to do. I am here to talk about things that make me vulnerable and about black and white life matters, such as cultural, racial, and money matters. Did you like it? I hope you did. If you did, please click like. And if you are not following me, please do start following me. Also, please spread the word about me as a public speaker. But now I'll say bye-bye till the next time, which will be in two weeks.